Duke croaks. After Sir Topham Hatt asked Oliver and Toad to help the other engines, they each had their own adventure. First, Oliver got lost and found an abandoned station. Then, Toad's forward-thinking views made a splash on the main line. With all due respect, Mr. Oliver, I think we've both had our fair share of adventures for a while. I couldn't agree more, Toad. They had just arrived at the workstation when they heard a strange wheezing sound. Goodness! What's that noise, Mr. Oliver? I think it's coming from one of the little engines, Toad. And it was. <coughs> Excuse me, do you mind? Oh, sorry. I uh, just couldn't help but hear you coughing. Are you feeling all right? Quite all right, thank you very much. Just a problem with my tubes. <coughs> uh, they'll sort themselves out. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> Uh, my name is Toad, by the way. I'm Mr. Oliver's brake fan. Hello there. A pleasure, Toad and Oliver. I must say, it's nice to see the big railway look out for the little one. After that, the pair continued to hit it off well. Toad would check in to see how old Duke was getting on. But Duke's cough seemed to get worse and worse. Then, one day... Duke never arrived. Where's Mr. Duke? I don't know, Toad. I suppose he's working somewhere else today. Excuse me, have you seen Mr. Duke recently? <laughs> How should I know? He wasn't in a shed last night. Perhaps he was considerable enough taking his wheezing someplace else. Oh, no. Well, thank you anyway, Mr. Sir Handel. That's Sir Handel. Just Sir. <laughs> what a strange break, man. Mr. Oliver, I think something terrible has happened to Mr. Duke. Mr. Oliver, I'm afraid I must resign from my duties as your break fan for the day. Someone needs to look after Mr. Duke's well-being. Oliver was skeptical, but he still shunted Toad in a siding near the works. Are you sure about this, Toad? Positively, Mr. Oliver. I'm sure you can find another breakman to fill in for me. <laughs> um, uh, all right, if you say so. Toad was on high alert, but all was quiet in the yard for some time. That is, until... Ah, hello, Toad. I'm about to take some trucks to the station in the valley. What brings you here? I need you to bring me with you. I think something terrible has happened to Mr. Duke, and I want to be on the lookout. Aye, then you can certainly tag along if you be wanting. We might run into some of the wee engines on the way. You're a lifesaver, Mr. Douglas. Oh, I don't know about that. Don't pay it no mind. And so, the search began. Douglas and Toad searched high and low for Duke. There were no little engines to be found, except for a diesel. Excuse me, Mr. Diesel! I'm sorry, but, uh, I don't really see myself as a mister. I, I prefer being called something like Little Diesel, if you don't mind. <laughs> or, or Rusty. Uh, Rusty works. Oh! My apologies, Rusty the Little Diesel. By any chance, have you seen Mr. Duke? Hmm. Um, I'm afraid I haven't seen him all day. It wouldn't hurt to check the valley station, though. Oh, thank you. We will.
But I'm sorry to say that when Douglas and Toad ventured to the end of the line, Duke was nowhere to be found. Oh no, he's not here either. Dinner fast yourself, Toad. Perhaps Duke is just having a wee bit of rest, or working in the quarry. Toad wasn't convinced. On their return journey, something caught Douglas's eye. Toad, I think I see another wee engine ahead. Hurrah! Well done, Mr. Douglas. Is it Mr. Duke? It could be. It certainly looks like the wee fellow, but he's different shade of brown. Stop! We have to stop! For oh, sakes, Toad, wait! You're not Mr. Duke! Yes, I'm afraid not. I get that a lot, honestly. I suppose if I were a tank engine, it would be easier to tell us apart. Good day to you both. Now both Douglas and Toad were keen to carry on, but there was another problem. Toad had given himself a wheel flat, and he needed repairs. He thought the day's search had been for naught. Until... Mr. Duke! You're alright! Oh wait, no! You're in the works. Are you well? Of course I am. My tubes just needed to be cleaned. I tell you, I was coughing up a storm each night. I'm sure the other engines would have shunted me here if I hadn't come myself. I'm just happy I found you, Mr. Duke. I withdrew from my normal duties to make sure you were safe, but I think doing so only caused more problems. I can certainly see that. Mr. Oliver! Oh, goodness me, what happened? The trucks were playing their tricks and I lost my temper again. Oh, I wouldn't have been so cross if I had you with me. Mm. I appreciate your concern, Toad, but I think there's another engine that needs you more than I do. Oliver and Toad, now grinning at their sorry states, heartily agreed. The three are now great friends. They love to share tales of their adventures whenever they meet. But I'm sure you'll agree that Oliver and Toad can tackle any adventure when they watch each other's back. <laughs>